How to be a blacksmith at your own home and not needing a fireplace. Alright, so it's going to be a little dark. Dark is the best for this. When it's dark. Darkness. Um. Almost ready. Propping the camera up. Alright, that's the burner. I'm gonna stand this. Um, pretty much what you're gonna wanna use is your own kitchen burner. And right now I'm using a piece of aluminum. Seeing that little strip. It's a medical aluminum. I'm, I use two pliers. Those two dark things. Um, maybe if I hold up there. Yeah, those two dark things. Um, uh, that I'm not touching the aluminum at all. That is just dumbass idea. I already have the aluminum marked. I have the oven turned on high for the um, stove top. This metal aluminum has been treated and it is quite bent. I'm going to make a phone um, stand out of it. This aluminum will, if you get it too hot, it will bend, or it will fall off and break. What you want to do is you want to kind of push in a little bit to test if it's, not with too much force, to, but to test if it's um, ready. Yeah, those are the two pliers holding the aluminum. And almost ready, as you can see, it was bending a little bit. You want it so it's nearly red hot. Or red hot. But not so a lot of it is. There we go. That's that piece. Now, one second. This is another piece. I have the pieces marked. Bends a lot quicker. And yes, you want to bend it in the flame. I'm going to turn on a light to make it so you guys can actually see it. So yeah, these are the pliers. They're not, they don't need to be identical. That's the aluminum. I'm going to bend this back a little bit. Still very hot to touch. And then I want to bend this like so. This is a phone case for the Galaxy S4. Yeah, as you can see, it's still very hot. Just barely touching it. It doesn't 
fit quite yet, so I'm going to bend it a little more. Heat it up. How am I supposed to get this? Okay. There we go. I wouldn't even bother touching it for a full hour. I'm going to show you what it looks like if it gets red hot. When it gets red hot. You'll notice it starts to droop a little bit, like it is right now. And there it is. It was red hot. That's red hot. I would not go anywhere near that for a couple of hours. Or a couple of minutes. Like 15 at minimal. Now I'm going to heat this little kink up right there. So that way it ends up being flat. Okay. And then I want to bend it a little bit with the pliers. So it gets the kink out. And then I'm going to need to reapply the heat because it's not completely out. Be gentle when you do this because you can tear the metal right apart. And I would not do this over a wood um, top or anywhere near wood. And I would do this with a parent, parent's permission.